What's up, everybody? It's me. You tune into On the Radar. As you can see by the title, 95% of sea moss being sold is not Irish sea moss. You are being lied to and sold the wrong thing, people. Companies are advertising Irish sea moss, aka Crondrus crispus, but they are actually selling you a completely different species called Grossularia. You are being scammed. Robbed, hoodwinked, bamboozled, played, jerked. <laughs> I'm being a little dramatic, but these companies are most likely not lying to you, but you are unintentionally being misled and deceived. Now, let me explain. Many people who have learned about CMOS in the past decade or so, most people learned it or, or heard about it from the late, great Dr. Sabi. We heard him talk about Iris CMOS with the scientific name being Chondrus crispus. A lot of people confuse that sea moss with the one commonly being sold, bought, used, and spoken about, the gold sea moss, most like most most prevalently. But we even see the purple sea moss, the full spectrum, or multi, as I like to call it. This sea moss is, in fact, di a different species from Crondus crispus. It's called Grossularia. Grossularia is not Irish sea moss. Grossularia and Crondus crispus looks completely different. It grows in different regions and in different water temperatures. Because of the different conditions, they have slightly different nutri nutritional profiles and offer different benefits while still being very, very similar. Grossularia, a warm water sea moss, comes from places like Jamaica and St. Lucia in the Caribbean. It has a more stringy, tentacle-like appearance, while Crongis crispus, Irish sea moss, it's from cold water regions like Ireland, even Canada and Maine. It has a more leaf-like appearance. Both of them grow by attaching themselves to rocks in the ocean. So why do people confuse the two? Basically, it's a lack of information. And the fact that Grossularia has been called Irish sea moss for so long by non-scientific people. So it's just like anything else. When you hear about something... You don't question it. You don't really know too much about it. You hear people talking about it. You see something advertised and you just go with it. You don't really have a, 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 a reason or a thought to even question it. Right. So that's just what it is. Just been called that people just run with it. They don't know any better, but there are two completely different things. So why do you see mostly Grossularia on the market? That's because it's more prevalent. It's more popular, and especially in the United States. It's more readily available because most people get it from the Caribbean. There's a lot of Caribbean people. There's that close connection. So it's just, you know, what you're going to see. What are the differences? Grossularia, as I stated before, grows in warm weather, warm water, sorry, in the Caribbean. It is said to be more of an anti-inflammatory. It rids the body of mucus. It rids the body of impurities and virus. It's more of like a detoxer. Versus the Crondus crispus that grows in the cold water. The Crondus crispus is seasonal, so it limits the production. That makes it harder to get, and it makes it more expensive. It also costs more because it costs more to ship from like the Ireland region to the U.S. It also is a, it is considered to be a more nutrient dense than the Grossularia, and it acts more of a restore and rebuilder for your body. It builds up your vital nutrients. I've read a few studies that suggest Grossularia is a great antioxidant source and is very helpful with the digestive tract, stomach issues, while Crondus crispus is higher, has a higher lipid profile. Lipids, if you don't know, are heart-healthy omega-3 fatty acids. The studies also suggest that it supports cognitive health and even has, um, it like aids with um, helping like Parkinson's disease and stuff like that. So, you know, neurological stuff, it, it really helps to build you up. People who take it, you know, they know that it, it helps with your mental focus. It helps with your mental clarity. It just it helps you function better. Like, this is real, people. All in all, I'm still searching for, like, diehard, plain, actual, factual breakdowns of this stuff, of, of like, the nutritional makeups for both of these species. I've been reading studies, I've been reading different articles online, I've been talking to different people, and especially people who have been using this stuff for, for decades. A lot of Caribbean people, you know, it's a staple in their, in their diets, they grow up taking this stuff. So everybody tells you something, you know, from the energy, they tell you it definitely helps your libido. I know people that, you know, it's helping them focus, 
It's helping that with, with it take away pain. It's helping regulate their sleep. It has a ton of benefits. So the thing that I always stress is there's two different things. There's the real world feedback that we get when we use stuff and we know what it does. And then there's the scientific clinical evidence of things. Now, to be real with you, we it's, it's, it's very complicated, especially as a seller of something, to we really can't legally say that this stuff does anything. You know what I'm saying? So to be real with you, that's why I try to st- I try to find the studies and I try to just stick to what people like me and like you who have used this stuff, what we notice as the benefits. You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying to go on a scientific level and really dig deep and find out what's really in this stuff and you know from from that that type of breakdown. So bear with me. <laughs> But like I said, you know, I, people have been saying people have been using this stuff for decades, even centuries, and the benefits of it is is just is 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 countless. Anyone who can point me to more information that might be helpful, definitely let me know in the comment section or hit me up in the email. Um, if you have personal testimonies from using this stuff, whether my products or CMOS in general, please leave it in the comment section because, like I always say, we help each other help each other. So for anybody who hasn't used CMOS yet. Um, and, and, you know, we, we can give them some other information about the many different benefits that it has. And also, you know, what's your experience using the different sea mosses if you have used them? The Irish, the, the, the Grassalaria, all of that stuff. And if you haven't tried the, 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 the Irish sea moss yet, you can definitely go on the website right now, RadarPlusNutrition.com. We have all of them. We have the gold. We have the purple. We have the Irish. We have the, I said, we have the multi. We also have the capsule form, which is our SBB formula. It has CMOS, burdock, and bladderwrack. And our capsules has the Irish CMOS, the Crondus crispus. So definitely check it out, you know, and, and place your order. Get your body charged up and refortified and all that stuff. Click the link in the bio. Link is in the description. Till next time, stay focused, stay fit. Please hit that like button, show your support. Definitely hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted the next time something pops up on the radar. Salute.